Well, hello there, my friends. What if I told you that long before the world gazed upon the first image of a black hole, there was a man who envisioned these invisible cosmic gladiators armed with nothing but a quill, parchment, and the boundless human imagination? As we stand under the night sky, let's embark on an extraordinary journey through time and space to uncover the story of John Michel, a man whose thoughts transcended the limits of his epoch, a philosopher scientist who quite literally weighed the universe with his mind. Now, imagine for a moment an 18th century English parsonage where the tranquil silence is broken only by the scratching sound of a quill dancing across a page. In this serene setting, John Michel contemplated the heavens with a mind unbounded by the technology of his day. It was a time when the universe seemed a simpler place, and yet it was on the cusp of revealing its most enigmatic secrets. The stars were like candles in the night, each a beacon of questions yet to be asked, let alone answered. What does it mean for something in the cosmos to be invisible, not because of its size or distance, but because light itself cannot escape its grasp. Such was the central enigma posed by Michel's revolutionary idea, an object so massive and dense that not even the speed of light could outrun its gravitational clutches. How could this be so in an era when light was thought to travel instantaneously? And yet, here we are today, still mesmerized by Michel's audacious proposition a thought so profound it would lay the groundwork for our understanding of black holes. In his 1783 paper, Michel didn't just muse idly about the stars. He built upon Isaac Newton's laws, crafting an argument so precise that it predicted the existence of what we now know as black holes. He wrote of dark stars, bodies so massive that the escape velocity at their surface exceeded the speed of light. This concept, radical as it was, passed largely unnoticed by Michel's contemporaries, yet it contained the embryonic truth of some of the most fascinating objects in our cosmos. Many are surprised to learn that it was Michel, and not the more famous names of Einstein or Schwarzschild, who first laid the theoretical groundwork for black holes. His work, though lost in the sands of time, resurfaced in the 20th century as general relativity breathed new life into his forgotten theory. Michel's speculation was a tapestry of thought so ahead of its time that the loom of science could not yet weave it into the fabric of accepted knowledge. Let's draw from the well of history and bring forth the voices of the past. Although Michel's work was overshadowed by the luminaries of his time, like his friend and colleague Henry Cavendish, he was no less remarkable. Michel was a polymath, a rare breed of thinker, who comfortably waded through the disciplines of geology, astronomy, and physics. In his own words, Michel pondered, if the semi-diameter of a sphere of the same density as the sun were to exceed that of the sun in the proportion of 500 to 1, a body falling from an infinite height towards it would have acquired at its surface greater velocity than that of light, and consequently, Antes de sal, all light emitted from such a body would be made to return towards it. Such clarity of thought from a man whose tools were the simplest forms of mathematics is nothing short of extraordinary. His insights did not echo in the halls of fame, yet they resonate with us today as we explore the philosophical underpinnings of our universe. Michel's musings parallel the scientific revolution of the 20th century, as his dark stars became the black holes that anchor galaxies and bend the fabric of space-time, a testament, a testament to the enduring power of human thought. The ethical implications of Michel's work are perhaps more abstract than those of medical or political nature, yet they too bear a moral weight. The pursuit of knowledge for its own sake, as exemplified by Michel, stands as a testament to the noblest aspects of human curiosity. It challenges us to consider the value of ideas that may not bear fruit within our lifetimes or even within our current understanding and to respect the intellectual heritage passed down to us. Our culture reflects this quest for understanding in countless ways.
In literature, for instance, the black hole has become a metaphor for voracious consumption, an abyss from which nothing can escape. In film, it is often portrayed as a gateway to other realms, a catalyst for adventure and exploration. These cultural artifacts do more than entertain. They illustrate our continued fascination with the concepts that Michelle broached over two centuries ago. Today, the discourse on black holes is alive and well, with scientists debating their properties, their role in the evolution of the universe, and the mysterious singularity that lies at their core. We are still grappling with the implications of Michelle's dark stars, as their true nature eludes even the most sophisticated instruments and the brightest minds. They challenge our understanding of physics, our perception of reality, and even our philosophies concerning the infinite. As we contemplate the importance of black holes and Michelle's role in their conceptual history, we must acknowledge that our grasp of the universe remains incomplete. The study of these cosmic enigmas is not just about astrophysics. It's about the limits of human knowledge and our relentless drive to push those boundaries further. It's a reminder that what we know is a mere island in the vast ocean of what we do not. In drawing our ideas together, we recognize that the story of John Michel is not just one of intellectual triumph, but also of humility. It's a narrative that reminds us that the seeds of tomorrow's truths may very well lie in the overlooked thoughts of yesterday. His is a legacy that asks us to look beyond the horizon to imagine what might be, even when we cannot see it. I thank you, friends, for joining me in this exploration of the mind and the cosmos. I hope that our journey through the stellar tapestry has illuminated not just the wonders above us, but also the wonders within us. As you gaze upon the stars tonight, spare a thought for John Michel, the forgotten father of black holes, and ponder what mysteries await our discovery. And so, my friends, as we part ways, remember that the universe is not only stranger than we imagine, but stranger than we can imagine. May your thoughts be as boundless as the stars and your curiosity as insatiable as a black hole. Until next time, keep looking up, keep wondering, and keep journeying through this magnificent cosmos of ours.